Hello friends. So today what we're going to be doing is going over uh, a small coding interview question uh, that has to do with finding all of the possible combinations of numbers in an array that add up to a given number. So basically uh, right, our task is to write a function that returns all possible combinations of elements within a given array that add up to given n. Right? So if we're given an array of 1 through 9 and we're given the number 10, we should come up with 6 and 4, 7 and 3, 8 and 2, and 9 and 1. Those are all the possible combinations that add up to 10. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, you can do it in an O of n squared time complexity, which involves kind of like nested for loops, so we'll try to stay away from that. Uh, the time complexity we're going to do it in today is O of n, so uh, linear or constant runtime. So let's do this. Let's go function, and we'll just call it uh, what do we call it? Sums. Uh, is that a good name for it? Sums. Yeah, sure. Why not? And it, we will be passed in an array, and let's just call it a sum. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is make an array, an empty array, and we'll call it pairs. So basically, that is going to be this array that is going to be passed into this bigger array right here. Cool. So the next thing that we're going to need is a, um, let's call it number num list. It's going to be a list of numbers. We're going to use it as kind of a hash table to reference things. So then we'll start a for loop. And we'll go for let i equals zero i less than r dot length i plus plus. So within that within that for loop, the first thing that we want to do uh, let's set up a current number array. So curdum equals r at i. And then what we're going to want to search for is the difference. So if our current number, if the number we're given is 10 and our current number is 1, 10 minus 1 will equal 9, which is what we're going to want to check for. So we're going to want to check for the sum minus the current number to see if the, I guess we could call it opposite or the, um, what would we, the difference, see if the difference is within our num list right here. And if it's not, we're going to push it. So let curnum equal that. Okay, cool. So we'll go if curnum. Oh wait, actually we have to set this up. So we'll say let difference. We're gonna equal that to sum minus curnum, right? So we'll go if um, num list which is our empty array right now, dot includes difference. Diff. I should have made this. I'm just gonna call it diff. It's getting hard to write that out. So if our num list includes diff, what do we wanna do? We want to push the difference and the current number into the pairs array, okay? So we'll go pairs, dot push, uh, an array of cur, num, and diff, right? So if it's not found there, which it won't be on our first pass of one, then what we want to do is push one into the num list. So num list, dot push, cur, num. And then we want to return pairs, and we'll see what's going on here. So let's just run this real quick and see what it works. See if it works, and then I'll walk through it. Uh, what was it called? Sums with r and num, and we'll make those variables real quick. So let num equal ten. Jesus. Let r equal, and we'll do that array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, I might have made some spelling errors. Let's see what happens. Ooh, let me make that bigger. Uh, no, it wasn't here at file. To sum. 
Okay, cool. So it worked. So all of our possible combinations that we got are 6 and 4, 7 and 3, 8 and 2, and 9 and 1. All right, so let's walk through this real quick. So we're initializing. We're, we're, we're given an array and a sum. We're going to set up two empty arrays that we can use to put data in and to reference. Uh, then we'll start a for loop. I tried to do the for uh, the uh, for of so for let i of r syntax, but something was happening with the beginning and end of the array. They were uh, the end was becoming undefined. And it wasn't putting the one within within the uh, num list. So I just went ahead and just kind of use old school for loop right here to solve that. But anyways, so we start our for loop. We'll set up another variable of current number and another variable of difference. Difference is the sum minus the current number. Current number is just whatever element is being uh, pointed to at that time. Then we'll check the num list, which on the first go is empty. So num list is empty. Num list dot include diff on the first go around would be one. 10 minus one will equal nine. So we'll check if numList includes 9, which it doesn't. So it's going to skip this line and go here, and it will take numList.push current number. So it'll put the 1 into the numList right here. Then it'll go through. We'll be at 2. So basically, the idea is that when the 9 gets here, and we go 10 minus 9 equals 1, it will find that 1 in the numbers list. So this will be the current, and the 1 will be in the numbers list, and this test will pass. When it passes, it will push that pair, the current number and the difference in an array into the larger pairs array, which is up here. And then we just do that and return pairs down here. And then the the uh, so the, the output is this, right? So you'll notice that it get it doesn't get the nine and the one until the end because the one had to be pushed into the num array uh, into the num list. So it didn't get it on the first go around, which is good because you don't want duplicate elements in here to where it's like. You have nine and one here, and you also have one and nine down here, which which can happen um, if you don't do it that way. So, anyways, that was an easy one. Um, yeah, you guys take it easy.